Hi, welcome back to the RhinoBond how-to video series. My name's David Allure. I'm the RhinoBond product manager. The tool is run off of portable generator power. At least a 5,000 watt generator is capable of powering two RhinoBond tools, given that they're each plugged into their own dedicated 20 amp circuit. It's important that this generator is dedicated only to two RhinoBond tools and no other roofing equipment. No screw guns, no hand welders, nothing else but two dedicated RhinoBond plugs. Once the tools are safely plugged into the generator, it's important to note that the RhinoBond tool itself is unplugged while starting the generator. Now it's time to start our generator. In order to help you with the safe startup and shutdown of your RhinoBond tool, we've included an instructional label on top of the tool. The label reads, never start generator with tool plugged in. Always start generator first, then plug in the tool. When not in use, unplug the tool. Once your RhinoBond tool is safely plugged in, the tool will display its ready screen. What we see here is the voltage coming to the tool at 119 volts and the energy setting that the tool is currently set to. These energy settings will be used to calibrate the tool. You can see the energy settings go from a minus 10 all the way up to a plus 10 in increments of one. In order to lock in your energy setting, toggle to the appropriate number and hit the select button. We've discussed the power source for the RhinoBond system being a 5,000 watt generator or greater in good working order. Each 5,000 watt generator is capable of powering two RhinoBond tools, given that each of them is plugged into a separate 20 amp circuit. So as a matter of review, never start the generator with the tool plugged in. Always start the generator first, then plug in the tool. And when not in use, simply unplug the RhinoBond tool. We hope you found today's content useful. And as a reminder, you can find all of this information online at omgroofing.com. Thank you very much.